Hello internet. today I'm going to turn this into a pen. There are four main stages of making a pen. Blank preparation, turning the blank, finishing the blank and assembling the pen. But first some basics. Blanks can come in many shapes and forms. Some of them are uh, wider, thicker than others. Some of them are even acrylics. My favourite is burls, they're nice and hard, got a lot of colour to them, but they're very hard to work with and not everyone's preference. Um, some blanks are quite thin, such as this, which is designed for slimline pens only. What is a slimline pen? Oh, well, this is your standard um, slimline pen, uh, and this happens to be a twist one. So, slimline pens refer to the brass tubes in them. Slimline pens are all these slim uh, cross style ballpoint refills and they all use these 7mm brass tubes. Other types of pens include a variety of different styles of um, ballpoint pens, rollerballs and fountain pens. Typically uh, rollerballs and fountain pens are cap only and ballpoints are click, twist, cap, pretty much any mechanism out there. So your pen kit that you'll get from your manufacturer, wherever, will contain usually two of these brass tubes, a refill, and all the bits and pieces that go together to actually assemble your pen. You'll then need a um, pen mandrel with matching Moore's taper for your lathe. This is a Moore's taper too. And the appropriate bushings. I've already gone ahead and prepared my blank. This happens to be some pad oak. Um, and by preparing it, it means drilling a seven mil hole in it, gluing the brass tube into it. No, oh, sorry, cutting it, then gluing the brass tube in, um, and waiting for that to dry. I've put a nice big arrow on this. I don't know if that shows up. And that's to indicate the grain direction before it was cut. That means when I assemble it, I get the same grain direction. I'm not going to cover um, preparing the blank, that is drilling the hole, or cutting it in half, drilling the hole, and gluing in brass tubing. You can imagine drilling is not the most exciting experience, and it can be seen in a previous video when I did the quick unpick. The process is very, well, it's identical, except the quick unpick was just a single part rather than two parts. The first step on the lathe is to get the pen blank nice and round and then any further shaping can be done after that. Because this is a spindle turning and a very small one at that, we can actually go start at quite a fast speed, which should make this a very quick project. Now this pen doesn't have any particular purpose except I'm going to use it to try different finishes on. Uh, slimline pens are quite cheap to make, the kits are only a couple of bucks each if that. Uh, usually you can get in packs of five and they use much smaller blanks so they're usually much cheaper. Or you can make your own from whatever timber you've got laying around.
now at 600 grit, I can begin applying my finish. As with all forms of uh, woodworking, there are so many different ways you can finish a project. Um, typically in turning, you'll use either a wax, an oil, or a shellac based finish. Uh, there are some that combine shellac and wax. Uh, oil finishes aren't great when you're handling an object. The oil only penetrates the wood, it doesn't create a protective film over it. And likewise, shellac and wax finishes, or shellac and, and wax finishes, um, can look stunning, but they don't always protect, uh, have a very durable layer. So this is Satellite City's Hot Stuff Super Glue, or CA Glue. Um, this is the thin viscosity, and that's what you want, so it doesn't uh, bind up uh, as you're applying it. A couple of drops on each section using a paper towel creates a very high gloss, high durability finish. Uh, so typically you can apply anywhere between, I don't know, five and 30 coats. They dry almost instantly, particularly if you've got um, CA glue activator. I don't, so I probably am <laughs> not gonna do that many coats. Um, and then that can be buffed out using something like ultra shine or wet dry um, sanding paper with a little bit of water on it and that'll create a very super hard finish with a very glossy look to it. The downside is using CA glue tends to be, t tends to make it feel a little bit plasticky and less like wood. Uh, as I'm get, only getting into pen turning now, I'm going to experiment with finishes and combine Danish oil and CA glue. Um, so a coat of each and then see what the results are. This is now uh, nice and dry. Uh, it's quite rough, so I'm going to sand it back with some 1200 grit sandpaper with just a drop of water on. After sanding the blank, I hit it with some AAA Ultra Shine, just on my clean rag. Next up is assembling the pen. This is a pen vise slash uh, press. And what that does is push the components inside of the tube for a very tight friction fit. Pulling apart this pen, we can see that the twist tube goes in like that with a gold ring in the middle. The refill screws into that twist tube and we have the nib on this end. Then on the end piece there is the clip and the cap. Here I basically blubber for a couple of minutes about how to assemble a pen. If you just follow the instructions that the pen kit comes with, it's fairly easy to put any type of pen together. Just by a moderate amount of pressure, making sure you're not crushing anything as you go along. 